Hey there, Central Iowa. This is Dustin Chandry. I remember your football Friday nights on 98.3 Wow FM team. Here to break down all CML games for week zero of the high school football season. The season kicks off in less than a week on Friday night, August 20th, as John McDermott and myself will have the live call of the most anticipated game of the year, a game simply known as Dowling Valley. John and I will go live on WOW FM starting at 7 p.m. with pregame analysis, and we'll send it around to some correspondents at other key games around Central Iowa. Now, as for the marquee game of the week, there's so many angles we could take to this game. I mean, we're talking about the biggest rivalry game in Central Iowa, two top ten preseason teams, Dowling's looking to prove they're ready to win a state title, Valley's simply looking to prove that last year was just a complete aberration. But there's so much more. Now, for Dowling to win this game, they're going to have to win the battle in the trenches. This was Dowling's biggest question mark coming into this season, and if they can control the line of scrimmage, they control the clock, they control the tempo of the game, and eventually they control the momentum. The other key for Dowling is to simply come ready to play. This will be the first game in over five years where Dowling is coming in as the prohibitive favorite and will have to find a way to play to that level of expectation. Now for Valley, the key for them is to get out to a hot start. Jump out with a quick touchdown. Put the pressure on the favorite for them to respond, and the longer you can remain in the lead, the more Dowling will have to press, potentially leading to turnovers. In addition, I strongly feel, feel that Valley is going to have to hold Dowling to under 20 points to win this game. That's no small task, considering Dowling put 44 on them last year, and the Valley defense ranked 12th overall in the CIML for points allowed. And while bragging rights are on the line, there's, some, there's something so much bigger that goes to the victor. Think about this, only once over the last 10 seasons has the winner of Dowling Valley not gone on to the 4A state semifinals, and six times has the winner of this game won it all. So in essence, the winner of Dowling Valley gains all the confidence and the moxie needed to win a state title. That's why Dowling Valley is so important. You're instantly validated as a front runner for a state championship. So I feel if Dowling comes ready to play, I think they can ride their running game all the way into the win column. I think Dowling will cruise to something around a 28 to 14 victory over the Valley Tigers. Now the other marquee game in the CIML in week zero is Ankeny at Waukee. A rematch from last year's opener, which turned out to be an absolute thriller with Ankeny winning in double overtime. But I don't think this sequel is going to live up to last year's original. Without Chad Owens, I'll, I'll have to take a wait and see approach to the Warriors this season. And conversely, all the indicators we're getting out of Ankeny is that Joel Lanning has made major strides entering his sophomore season. I think Ankeny wins a low scoring game 21 to seven over Waukee. Other CIML games, Des Moines Lincoln opens up at Southeast Polk in a game I feel Lincoln has to show well if they're in fact going to make a run at an undefeated season. Southeast Polk, you know, just flat out is not going to compete in that Central Conference, and if Lincoln can't show a level of separation from the Rams, they'll garner little respect regardless of what their record indicates. I think Lincoln wins this game. I think the question is by how much? I'll guess 14, 28 to 14 Lincoln. Other games in uh, the CML include Johnston at Ottumwa, a revamp Marshalltown opening at uh, Drake Stadium against Roosevelt, Ames is at North, and Indianola will seriously have to think about moving out of the CML if they lose their opener at Hoover. Uh, my prediction for those games, I think uh, Johnston, will uh, that, that'll be a statement game. I think they might win that one by 21 over Ottumwa. Same thing for Marshalltown. They'll make a statement uh, as well that they're just as good as last year as they'll pound it uh, to Roosevelt. Ames will easily easily uh, smoke north with Kyle Anderson probably going for two to 300 yards. And uh, in a small upset, I will actually take Hoover to knock off Indianola. And that'll do it for my Week Zero Preview Podcast. Be sure to tune in Friday, August 20th for Dowling Valley, broadcast live on Football Friday Nights on 98.3 WOW FM. And be sure to check out our Facebook page where, we, where I'll be posting photos and game highlights as well from Dowling Valley. Until next week, this is Dustin Chandry for Football Friday Nights on 98.3 WOW FM.